Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video view of Transformers Armada Starscream. This is a Voyager size figure, as opposed to the new IDW release, which is going to be a deluxe class. Alright, box as always, Transformers Armada. Okay, it does come with a mini con and a little comic book. There's Starscream, he's going to be here again, featuring the comic book, yada yada yada. It's trilingual for some odd reason. There's the mini con. It does have a little gimmick, so I'll show you the transformation. Real simple. It does work with red alert, long arm, mini con. I, I don't know what that's all about. Sorry, I don't know too anything about the Unicron trilogy, so I can't really. Yeah, same thing on both sides there. Cool. Um, top of the box if you really want to. Really? It's like not a script for a box. Okay, whatever. Alright, let's see. Comic book, if you really want to read it. Da da da. I really could care less. Hot shot. Da 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 da. Pause it if you want. Da, da, da. Well, here's the good stuff right here. The little toys. I love this because they don't do this much anymore. Show you the toys. That jet storm looks kind of cool. Hmm. Ooh. With sonar. Look at that blade. Kind of morphing. What is it? Some Sentai. Morphing Power Ranger stuff right there. That's cool. Uh, yeah, little mini cons. Ooh, you get three of them. Form a robot. Cool. Mm -hmm. Hot shot. Mm. Demolisher Cyclonus, which looks horrible. I think I had the dude. Da -da -da. Laser beak. Yeah. I had the Japanese version. Let's see. Red alert. Red alert's that old? Starscream. Yep. Voyager size. Megatron had that bad boy too. Mm -hmm. Optimus Prime, look, looking really good actually. I like when he, what's he got? Collect the uh, mini cons, the base. Yeah, that looks really cool. And that's it. Uh, also comes with a horrible, horrible card sticker. I don't know what this is. Uh, I think it's a card. It's flexible. It's not a card. It, no stats, nothing like that, but it looks okay. Alright, on to. And this is one thing, they got a lot of sound effects. Sound effects when you pop. Oh, one thing I really don't like about this mode is it no, there's no nose wheel landing. I, I don't like that. There's nothing to pop down over here. All of them, as you can see, there's four tires down here. You got no vertical stabilizers either. What this, what's the deal? How does this thing fly? Okay, I, I know I work in aviation and I have to suspend disbelief sometimes, but I, it'll fly, but it's going to have a devil of a time actually trying to... That navigate, sorry. <laughs> okay, you got the tail fins, wings, and it's not too bad. It's alright, you can see the robot head from there, and you can definitely see the robot arms. Nice little molding, uh, that's neat. Uh, and please don't hit the cockpit or that would happen. You got the Decepticon symbols, not too bad. The molding is fantastic, I love the colors. It's gray, purple, red, yellow, black. Nice colors. It's not too bad. It's not horrible. You can see a lot of undercarriage junk. It is what it is. 7 out of 10. One thing I do like is the Minicon. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> All you have to do is pop that sucker. Yeah, and those come back up. Now, for a replay there. Yeah, try that again. This time, just pop that in. That's what's supposed to happen, the little sound. Yeah, a little button. No light ups. And of course, you also heard this. So you can definitely load up the missiles. And the sucker does shoot. Yeah, there you go. Pretty decent. All right, let's take that back off. You'll see the same gimmick when robot mode. So let's go ahead and transform. The first thing we're going to do is pop out. Let's pop off the arm so the legs will come out easier. There we go. Those are just move that up. Double weird really double joints. So yeah, just like that. Then we can move that up. Turn this forward. So we go like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, heel spurs. Which is good because this thing is top heavy. Very loaded. Now we can just Okay, move that down. So that's this will peg on to here. You see this little clip peg on to that right there. Just like that. And see the automorph? The head pops up. 
Yeah, it's kind of neat. You heard that. So the arms are already there. They're weird double joints, as you can see. And they have horrible gorilla arms, and his hands are so small. What I do like is that they put a little tab here so it's easier to pop out. I do not like the gorilla arms. And yeah, and that cockpit will just drive you crazy. So, yeah, just pop that out. Good. Okay, so you can already see the guy is mostly transformed. Weird double joint on. And when I say gorilla arms, you can make them in a girl walk mode too, sort of. Then we can just separate this. And these are soft plastic. And one of the things I want to point out is the wings themselves are not hard plastic. It's soft. It's rubbery. So it's good in that sense. You can rotate the wings just like that. And this wing does pop apart. I'll, I'll show you that later. Oops. Too much force. There we go. Oh yeah, and finally, because it's so top heavy, see this? That doesn't go anywhere. Put the mini con. And action. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly perfect. And as we can see, you can load these up again. I'll show you they fire. So you have this, it doesn't go anywhere. I wish it would fold down. So you got this backpack, so the heel spurs are absolutely necessary. Hate these gorilla arms, I really do. One thing is, it stands up and you definitely, definitely need those. Oh, oh yeah, one thing I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, gorilla arms and all, not too bad. I like. I like the head scope. It's dark. It's red. No light piping, unfortunately. For figure made in 0201, something like that. I love the colors. I love the uh, paint apps. Not too bad. And the thing is, you can take this wing. It's pretty asymmetrical, too. There we go. And it pops off the left wing here. And it just accordions out. And that's supposedly. And I use the term really, really loosely. It's a sword. Yeah. Minicon can pop into his other port here. You know, like that. So he can store him in that position. Not too bad. As far as articulation, you got a swivel on the top of the... Sorry, what do you call that? Shoulder. No bicep swivel, but you have this weird double joint on the elbow. And that's more for transformation than anything else. Nothing on the hand except it moves up and down. Nothing on the head... It pops up. No waist swivel. I'm very disappointing in that sense. This hip moves up. No, not to side to side, just up. Single joint on the knee. But it does have a thigh swivel, so you do have that. And of course, the feet, just the heel spur. So it's, mm, it's a brick. It's really a brick. Not my thing. There we go. Size comparison, got this with, it's definitely a Voyager size, that's first edition Prime, and my boy Megatron. So yeah, robot mode, it's a little left to be desired. Definitely the worst of the two modes, 6 out of 10. Oh, one thing, let me get this Minicon, which, yeah, let's face it, is not going to be the most difficult transformation there ever. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just pop off the arms. Just like that. And tip, you put the legs back. And there's your Minicon. <laughs> Just so you can have a little detail. Minicon has a weird face. But at least it's semi-penny painted. It's tiny, of course. So articulation. Yeah, you're not going to get much. Alright, definitely the weakest of the modes is that one. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I catch y'all next time.